Hello friends, here's a confession. I am a professional illustrator who doesn't use a sketchbook. This is something that always made me feel insecure, like I wasn't worthy of the title. You know, those artists who always carry a sketchbook and some art supplies with them? Yeah, that's not me. I remember I once went to a dinner party with other illustrators and after dinner someone suggested we all drew something in our sketchbooks. And now I, I still now can remember how my heart started racing as I saw people all around me picking up their art supplies from their bags. I, I had nothing. I, <laughs> I brought nothing with me. I ended up asking someone for a piece of paper and pencil. And then came the time to actually draw something, on the spot, with zero preparation. <sighs> I'm giving myself anxiety just thinking about this. Moving on. I don't have a sketchbook practice, but I really wish I did. I can see the benefits it can have to have a place to experiment. And I do believe it could help me evolve both in my technical skills and in the subjects that I approach in my, in my work. I have tried using sketchbooks in the past, as you can see by the, this pile of unfinished ones, but I just, I, I never stick to it. I feel like I judge myself a lot and I think I should be drawing better and more interesting spreads, you know? Like the ones we see on the sketchbook tour videos here on YouTube. So I just give up. There's one exception though. I use a sketchbook during the first stages of working on a new book. Uh, when I'm trying to come up with a storyboard and the first ideas, I do these very rough, ugly sketches that no one but me can understand. Although, when time is limited, which it always is nowadays, as you know if you've watched my previous video, uh, so I skip the sketchbook and I just do that on the iPad. But I feel like something is lost in that process, like, the mistakes you make when you're drawing traditionally, they can't be replicated when you draw on the iPad. And there's this magic in those mistakes, as corny as that may sound. All this to say that I decided to try again, and here I am, documenting it. So this is one week of using a sketchbook from an illustrator who doesn't use a sketchbook. I started with a few ground rules because rules are fun. I'm going to draw every day for a week. I will take no longer than 30 minutes each day and I'll use a prompt list to generate ideas so I don't get stuck on the first phase of thinking about what to draw. I thought this would help me not to get overwhelmed, but as you will see, I will stick to none of them. The first mistake I made was recording this process. Yep, I'm saying that this video was a mistake, but please keep watching. It's always fun to see other people fail, right? Filming this created an additional amount of pressure I probably shouldn't have when using a sketchbook, but I'll be honest, I don't think I would have had the motivation to do it without documenting. So anyway. Here I am on day zero because I took so long to set up and I procrastinated so much that by the time I was ready to start filming, it was time to go home. Off to a great start, you know? Oh, also, if you're interested, this is the sketchbook I'm going to be using because I just had to have a new sketchbook for this. Isn't it amazing the excuses you can come up with when buying new stationery? We really are creative spirits. So, day one. The prompt word is C, from Beachtober's prompt list. I started with some sketches on the left page. My plan is to explore the subject here and then create something final on the right page. I started by drawing a jellyfish because I'd just drawn one for a book cover recently. 
Then I drew an octopus because those are fun to draw. And keeping up with the basics, I drew a fish. You know, fish live in the sea. Groundbreaking, I know. And I felt like he looked, he seemed like he was high-fiving, so I started drawing another one, another fish, to high-five the first one. But I hated how that looked and proceeded to erase it immediately. Now, I could just not show you this ugly thing, but it's gonna be important down the line, so keep on watching. Then I remember I once drew a penguin with goggles, so I tried doing that again. Now, if you know my usual subjects, you know I prefer drawing animals, but I thought since this was an experiment, I should try drawing people. So I did. A girl with goggles. Then I thought it'd be cute to have the water be inside the goggles instead of outside. Which I realize makes the goggles useless, but bear with me. I was super proud of this idea and decided this was what I was going to be drawing on the right page. But since I'm a chronic overthinker, I thought about it and I, I felt like I probably saw this idea somewhere. I did, didn't I? So I gave up on that idea and it was by this time that I looked at the timer and realized I had 8 minutes left and I hadn't even decided what I was going to draw. I decided then to just keep it simple and come back to the i5 idea. I also realized that 30 minutes was never going to be enough time to do what I wanted to do. After drawing the final sketch on the right page, I started coloring with my watercolor colored pencils, although I won't be using the watercolor feature. I'm doing this rough kind of mm, childlike coloring just because I thought it bring more interesting more interest to the piece instead of just coloring it all perfectly. And sorry for my big head coming in and out of the frame. That will happen often throughout the video. I'm still learning to record my process and also I just have a big, a big head, you know. I then decided to add some bubbles here and there to add to the composition and ta-da! Day one is done and it took me probably more than double the time I wanted it to take. So let's see if I can do better on day two. Spoiler alert, I won't do better. Day two and the prompt word is plant. I decided to try a different approach and base this session around this crayon I bought when I was in Japan almost three years ago and that I never used because that's just me. I buy the supplies and then I never use them because if I do, I'll run out of them and I won't, them, I won't have them anymore. Yep, that's my reasoning, that's my brain. Moving on. I just searched for some plants on Pinterest and started drawing what called to me. I was enjoying the process so much that I got cocky and decided to try some more supplies. So I grabbed these old pastels I have, and I mean old, like I used them when I was a child, old. And I started experimenting with them. I did really like the result, but I had it a ladybug because you know me, I love drawing animals. I'm also using a dark green colored pencil for the details and by this time the 30 minutes I set myself were over and guess what? I wasn't over so I just kept drawing for a little while longer.
and I drew some more lady ladybugs because you know animals and I added some more red details here and there and I ended up quite liking the result of this spread I was so happy that I liked this drawing session that I decided to get a head start for the next day. The prompt word was whale and though I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to draw, I thought that adding a blue background would probably be a good idea and that's what I did with some light blue eco line that I left to dry till the next day. This time I wanted to keep it simple and not overthink it so I just drew some whales. There's not a lot to say about this day, other than you can witness the moment I decided to give up on timing these sessions. It was here. The phone ran out of battery and I just decided to keep going. By this point I had already learned that I was probably not gonna stick to the 30 minutes anyway. But here is day 3. I didn't enjoy the process today, so I kind of copped out by drawing just half a whale. On day 4 I decided to evaluate the process so far. I wasn't really enjoying the prompt list so I ditched another one of my rules. And on the other hand I was really enjoying experimenting with different mediums so I grabbed these gouache paints. I got them so long ago that I don't even remember purchasing them. But they're still brand new because you know Buying our supplies and actually using them are two different activities for me. This time I decided to be super free and just draw some bolt flower shapes. Uh, the process was really enjoyable and relaxing, which was a good change from the last few days. To finish it off, I added some details with colored pencil and this ended up being my favorite day, mainly because the process was free and there were no rules. Since I learned nothing from my own mistakes, on the last day I came back to the prompt list and the word was sleepy. And as a mother to an almost two year old who still doesn't sleep through the night, this word defines me. So I tried drawing myself and I hated it. And to make myself feel better about that, I decided to use these water soluble wax pastels I bought recently and I wanted to try. Now you'll see me also recording some of the process on my phone, because that's the life of a creator nowadays. Everything can be content and you just can't enjoy the process. You have to document it for social media, otherwise it didn't happen. But that's a whole different subject I shouldn't probably be getting into today. Anyway, it was fun to try a different medium and see how much it affects my, my style. Uh, the end result is not really like my usual work, but it was really fun to do.
Now on to my final thoughts about this week. Again, I shouldn't have recorded this. I didn't really need the edit pressure. I feel like I pressured myself a lot and I judged myself a lot. Although I draw for a living, I sometimes have this sinking feeling that I'm a terrible artist and that I can't draw. And that feeling is exacerbated whenever I start drawing and the results are not as good as I think they should be. And that, that happened a lot this week. Although deep down I know you have to be bad before you get better, I am my worst critic. And I'm sure you probably can relate to that. I really hope I keep using this sketchbook, but I'm going to try to make it a judgment-free zone. I won't lie, I know that won't be easy. Uh, I also know I won't be drawing in it every day. I just can't make the time for it right now, but maybe once a week? I don't know. I hope you like this video. Let me know how your sketchbook practice is and if you have any tips for me moving forward. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!